It's not that older folks believe that you're young, so you're going to be disrespectful to the elders. It's that the world has changed. And so as a result, like say, for example, if you're doing newspapers and you've been successful all of this time. Facts. Right? 60 years. Right. Times have changed. <laughs> Linear television is fading. The streaming platforms have elevated and proliferated. You got all of this going on and cats see money. All of a sudden, you can get a YouTube channel. And if you're doing some, a little something, something with it, you can make in a month what some people made as an annual salary. And so when they see that, they follow in the money. Mm -hmm. And they really not trying to listen to some old head talk to them about what they should do and how they should do it because the mentality is, is times have changed. Yeah. The problem is not you thinking that way because any of us would think that way. Yeah. It's the way you convey it. Right. If you convey it in a fashion that comes across as dismissive and disrespectful, how's an older folk gonna take that? Right. Because we respected our elders. No doubt. You understand what I'm saying? We, no we may not like what you said or whatever, but damn, if it made sense, it made sense. But more importantly, we ain't looking at you as telling us something because you're trying to belittle us. We're looking at you telling us something because you're trying to educate us. Because as an old person, an older person, you recognize the fact that your, day, your best days are behind you. You understand? And, and, and you faded into that twilight. And you get to a point where there's no success without a successor. So you're looking for people to espouse that knowledge right. to, to extend it right. so it can be carried on. And that's something that should be admired. Unfortunately, we don't see a lot of young cats admiring it. They're resistant to it and they resent it. And that's the problem. I don't think young, I don't think young people know how to initiate though. Right. We're older. Right. We've been through multiple times where you have to initiate, you have to be aggressive. Yeah. I don't think young people know how to initiate. Mm -hmm. I say this, what is your, what's your view on the young, on, on the young generation? First of all, I'm very proud of them, believe it or not. Um, ballsy. I, I, ballsy, courage, Cura cour betting on yourself, super creative, super um, creative. innovative, courageous. Um, and I said a courageous already. All of that stuff is applicable. Absolutely true. I just need them to be tougher mentally. Mm. Somebody giving you constructive criticism does not equal condemnation. Facts. It means in the moment, this is what you did. Facts. In the moment, this didn't work. Suck it up. Deal with it. And you see a lot of these young cats, particularly professional athletes, that don't absorb to all of that. And they're not telling the truth always as to why they feel that way. Mm. The real truth is you've learned to monetize everything. So anything that gets attached to your name, you view as potentially compromising your brand. Mm. And that's problematic for you. Right. And you're looking at it that way. And I'm like, tell the truth. That's what you're thinking. Mm. Because guess what? I don't want to hear about you bitching about how, yo, it might compromise my brand today. You played on Thursday, you played like shit. Right. But Saturday, Saturday, you might drop 50. Right. What you worried about it for? You got another game to go out there. You got another day to go out there. You Just like, the, as long as the person is willing to keep the same energy in praising you mm. as they were in condemning what you may have done that particular day, you, you should be good. Mm. And unfortunately, you got a lot of cats that can't take that. They yeah. really, really can't. And that's where you see the divide existing. And it's not just with the young and the old. It's with professional journalists compared to professional athletes. Mm. It's with pundits and commentators compared to other cats that are doing what they're doing, even though once they finish, they're trying to come and do that. You look at LeBron James, for example. LeBron James got over 100 million subscribers on social media. Damn. What do you need to do a podcast for? But you're still doing one, ain't you? Still doing one, ain't you? Because you want a voice. You got the shot. Why? Because you want a voice. You see what I'm saying? So you can have all the followers in the world. But ultimately, what you're saying is you want to be heard. You just want to be heard the way you want to be heard. Mm. And what you're thinking about is what you want to disseminate and convey as opposed to how shit is being received. Right. And I'm the person, I'm one of those dudes that I pay attention to both. What's being put out there, but also how it's being received.